الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على سید المرسلین وعلى آلہ وصحبہ اجمعین In our last episodes, we spoke about the call and invitation of all the prophets. What was the call of Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, then Hud alayhi salatu wasalam sent to Aad, then Saleh alayhi salatu wasalam sent to Samud, then Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam who had an international personality propagated Islam and Tawheed in Iraq, uh, Turkey, Palestine, Jordan, Egypt, and in Mecca, in the Arabian Peninsula. Then we spoke about the call and invitation that were made by Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And then we mentioned about the call and invitation made by, by Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, Jesus Christ after uh, Moses, 1300 years after Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. And 600 years after Jesus Christ, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the last messenger and prophet, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, peace be upon him, in Mecca, with the last book, Al-Qur'an. Now this is very important to note that he is the last prophet who came with the last book. All previous books are altered, changed and not preserved in, intact uh, as they were given by God. Quran is the only book of God that is in Arabic language, the original given to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And from Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, till the last words of the Quran and Surah An-Nas, Min Al-Jinnati Wal-Nas, this book is very much intact. Not a single word is twisted and people try to twist it, alter it, but all their efforts were fail. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, you know, he came with this, the first and single message when he was made prophet at the uh, age of 40 in 610 CE. He was born in 571 CE, but he was made prophet and messenger with the first revelation came in the cave of Hira 610 CE. He lived in Mecca for 13 years and ultimately uh, people tried to kill him and he had to leave the city of Mecca after 13 years and he migrated to Medina and after 10 years in Medina he died in 632 CE. Uh, he lived in Medina for 10 years. And what was the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the last prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The same thing. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. There is no ilah. There is no sovereign. There is no other God. There is no other deity which can give peace and tranquility. There is no other power that can give refuge in bad times. Nobody can protect us from the evil of human beings and jinn except the Creator God. That's why in Surah Zumar, Ayah number 66, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
and all the other prophets, Bali Laha Fa'abud. But you have to worship Allah alone. Wa kum mina shakirin. And you have to be, O oh Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, among those people who were thankful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. In Surah Al-An'am, Surah Al-An'am, Surah number 6 of Quran, Surah Al-An'am, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has mentioned from ayah number 83 to 89, 15 prophets, he listed 15 prophets, one after another. And, and it is clearly told that all of them were worshipping only one and single God, Allah. They were obeying one and single God, Allah. They were inviting people towards one and single God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the attributes of Allah are mentioned. And finally, in ayah number 102 of Surah Al-An'am, uh, Surah number 6, Allah said, ذَلِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمْ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّهُ خَالِقُ كُلُّ شَيْءٍ خَالِقُ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ فَعْبُدُوهُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ وَكِيهِ Ayah number 102 of Surah Al-An'am has five segments. Be with me and uh, we shall try to understand this ayah 102 of Surah Al-An'am. The first thing in the first segment, it is said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Dhalikumullah, Dhalikumullahu Rabbukum. This is Allah. This is the true concept of Allah. He, Rabbukum, He is your Lord. He is your nourisher. He is your provider. Rabbukum. He is Allah. You have the wrong concept. Some people think that fire is God. Some people think cow is their God. Some people worship uh, sun and uh, moon and uh, other stars and planets. And some people believe that the prophets are God. Some of the Jews believe and say, Uzair ibn Allah. Uzair is son of God. Ezra is son of the God. And Christians, they say, Waqalati Nasara. Isa ibn Allah. Isa is the son of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But these are the wrong concepts and wrong beliefs. Allah is saying, Thalikumullahu Rabbukum. This is the true concept of you, of Allah, Rabbukum. Thalikumullahu Rabbukum. He is Allah and He is Rabbukum. He is providing you oxygen for your survival. He's providing you vegetables and fruits and grains and water and oxygen. Whatever is needed for the existence of mankind on this earth is given. He is Rabbakam. He is your sustainer. Number two. The second segment of this ayah number 102 of Surah Al-An'am, La ilaha illahu. There is no other ilah. There is no other God other than Him. There is no other powerful deity. One and only God, the Creator God. He is the, He is Allah. Number the, the third segment, Khaliqu kulli shayin. He Creator of everything. Creator of every element and compound, creator of all heavens and earth, creator of planets, creator of every atom, every element and compound, the organic compounds, inorganic compounds, gases, liquids and solids. He is the creator of everything. 
so you see whatever is other than god is creation god is creator and whatever is other than god is the creation you know please remember one thing god can never become cre creation and creation can never become god god is different from creation god was existing god was existing when there was nothing well awwal he is the first one and uh, there was nothing when he existed so everything came after him so this universe can never become god man cannot become god and god doesn't come in human form it is impossible that incarnation could take place in human beings so the demand here is the the, the third segment says khaliqu kulli shay'in he is the creator of everything the fourth thing fa'budhu therefore fa'budu fa'buduhu all of you must obey and worship the one and only allah and obey the teachings of the last prophet and the last book that is given to muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam and finally it is said that wa huwa ala kulli shay'in wakil and he is the guardian of everything he is monitoring everything and he shall look after this planet and all other things until the day of judgment but the order shall be different after the day of judgment so what is said here what uh, what is said here in surah al an'am that teachings of all 15 prophets and messengers was the same and the teachings of the last prophet muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the same and it is all summarized in 102 ayah of the quran in five small segments the first segment ذلكم الله ربكم this is the true concept of allah who is providing and uh, nourishing all of you number 2 la ilaha illahu there is no ilah except him there is no other god except him there is no other powerful authority except him number 3 khaliq kulli shay he is the creator of everything every element and every compound number 4 fa'buduhu therefore worship and obey him alone and number 5 wa huwa ala kulli shay'in wakil he is monitoring and watching and protecting each and everything each and every element and compound so uh in conclusion what we have said in 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 our last episodes and finally in this episode that number 1 guidance to mankind is possible only through the revelation made upon certain human beings chosen by the creator god allah called messengers or prophets these messengers and prophets receive the revelation and uh, they spread the true teachings of of the god then we said adam was the first man and nu alay salam ibrahim alay salam Hud alayhi salam, Saleh alayhi salam, and Ibrahim alayhi salat was salam, Musa, Isa, and Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wasallam, salam. All of them were the prophets and messengers of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and 
محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از دا لاسٹ میسنجر اینڈ پروفٹ آف اللہ ہو کیم ود دی لاسٹ ٹی بک القرآن اینڈ دیٹ از کیپٹ ان ٹیکٹ اینڈ اٹ شیل بی کیپٹ ان ٹیکٹ ان ٹل دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ اینڈ دی ٹیچنگس آف آل امبیا آل پروفٹس آر یونانیمس ان نیچر دا فسٹ اینڈ دا فور موسٹ امپورٹنٹ تھنگ دے سے او بود اللہ ورشپ اینڈ او بے ون گاڈ اونلی نمبر ٹو مالکم من الہ غیرو فور یو دیر از نو ادر الہ ایکسپٹ اللہ سبحان ہو و تعالی اینڈ آل آف دا پروفٹس ان وائٹ ٹوڈس دا بلیف of the day of judgment varjul yawm al akhir and uh, uh, all of them they say that you have to refrain yourself from taghut from the tyrant forces who are against god who are against prophets and who are against the teachings of the books that are given to different prof- prophets at different times especially the last book that is given to the last prophet al quran and uh, we said the prophets not only talk about aqeedah and beliefs that allah is one and uh, and the day of judgment in is inevitable but they give us moral teachings they they give us economic teachings they give us the knowledge of lawful and unlawful haram and halal and they tell us what to do and what not to do what are do's and don'ts what is haram and what is halal what is ma'roof and what is munkar so they give human beings Uh, the clear concept of uh, obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and there is only one way of salvation and there is only one way to enter the eternal life of paradise by following the teachings of the creator God given to through given through various prophets and finally whatever that is given to the last messenger of allah muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the last book of allah uh, al quran aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullaha li wa lakum wa li sa'iril muslimin wa astaghfiruhu innahu huwal ghafurur rahim